Hey guys, Path here. Welcome to Hackers Den. I am back again with another video explaining deep web. You might be thinking why I went off track. So just to tell you guys, this is just a video. We will be resuming our course from next videos. I have to make this video uh, because I was free and surfing the web and I came across so many videos in the internet with funny titles like secrets of deep web and do not enter dark web very scary and mystery box caught from the dark web and many more like these and these are all fake and just for your entertainment i think also to let you know guys it is called deep web and not the dark web some people claim to have visited dark web which is under the deep web and is totally crap i think i have been into it from quite long and i know what it actually is also it is not at all illegal to access the deep web we will discuss and see what actually is deep web and is it creepy and scary as displayed in the videos so let's start let us first see what is the difference between surface web and deep web surface web contains content that is indexed by the search engines and all the websites we visit like google facebook youtube where you are watching my video these all are in surface web and we can easily access it because these websites are indexed by the search engine and these are constantly monitored and have very strict rules and regulations like we cannot sell or buy illegal items here as we can be traced easily by the governing bodies of the internet and surface web consists of uh, only 4 to 5% of the complete internet which means deep web is way too large and must have a huge data in it these are the websites or pages which are not indexed by the search engines now to access the deep web we have the onion router popularly known as tor browser also we have i2p just like tor Uh, that is the the thing we will discuss it later in deep web uh, regulations of hosting a website are very different there also we have hosting services but are different from the traditional method we use in our surface web uh, the tor relay uh, basically the tor is used by military special services etc to maintain anonymity and security for communication and sharing their confidential data there so once again i want to make it clear that accessing the deep web is not at all illegal a common person can also access the deep web okay so the separation of legal and illegal activities in deep web is same as it is in surface web means you cannot sell drugs weapons child pornography legally so doing all these activities in deep web is also illegal uh, these activities are not going on in surface web because as i mentioned it is monitored for such activities constantly so such things got popped up in the deep web and it doesn't mean that deep web only contains such data we can get much useful and informative content in deep web also Now let's jump into the section where we will see how we can actually access the deep web. So I would recommend you to use the virtualization for it. It is not mandatory but uh, I recommend it as it provides a very strong level of isolation and anything you do inside your virtual machine will hardly affect your main system. so i'm not saying it cannot affect but it is a good practice to follow because uh, let's suppose you download a file from deep web and it contains some virus or malware and there is a very little possibility that it can bypass your virtual environment and can affect your main system also in this video i'll be using uh, linux as you can see here and i recommend using it because majority of malwares are written to target windows machines because it is most used operating system so using linux uh, reduces the chances of getting affected and for virtualization you can use virtualbox or vmware 
both provides a very high level of isolation and works best so I'll be using this VMware here I'm using the VMware Workstation 15 Pro for this video and set your VMware network adapter setting to NAT network as I've set it here it will basically allow to share the network from host machine and will not directly connect to the network and if you have VPN connection go and activate it in your host machine I am currently using Surfshark here this is my primary VPN now let me open Tor official website inside my uh, virtual machine You can download Tor from here. It is available for all the platforms uh, like Windows, OS X, Linux and Android. I have already downloaded it. Uh, it is here and simply launch it. It might take a while to start. So this is basically the Tor browser. Now you can access the deep web. But before we start, let me tell you never open your browser in full screen because it can allow websites to determine your monitor size, which can be used to track you. Now go to network settings. Here in terms of security level we have standard, safer and safest. I generally use safer. Uh, you can check the description what it means. In safer it says it disable features that are often dangerous. Also no autoplay of audio video files which is good. Uh, it is set to click to play. And JavaScript is disabled in non HTTPS websites. So. You can go back, you can close the preferences here. So now we are all set to open onion links or websites. Let me open one. Here it is. You can surf it like a normal website. This is the onion link of DuckDuckGo search engine. Here it is. The, so that's it for this video. Hope you learned and enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.